good afternoon, everybody. So to take a diversion from the theme of the day, which seems to be the hardware ecosystem, let's focus a little bit on the how software ecosystem, we're working on the software ecosystem and what we're trying to achieve with the RISC-V hardware in a software domain. So here I'm uh, going to talk about uh, uh, our efforts in porting the graphical stacks to the RISC-V using uh, QME on Yocto. The This work has been done by my colleague Alistair, who unfortunately couldn't be here, so I'm just presenting on his behalf. So this is a work in progress. We are still actively uh, work, working on it. So obviously the first question, uh, why do we need uh, GUIs? Why do we need graphical desktop? So, so we see uh, RISC-V as a uh, general computing chip, up, uh, not only a, something that's only applicable in the embedded domain. So to actually compete in a consumer-based uh, market, we need to have the graphical desktops enabled for it because otherwise day-to-day uh, -day life, uh, it will be limited to academia and industry developers in the developer community. It will never be in the hands of people who actually measure, uh, which actually something like uh, mobile uh, phones or the, which basically represented half of the most ubiquitous devices as such as Android and iOS. So graphical desktop is necessary from that point, of, from that perspective. And uh, another concern uh, everybody has is something related to privacy and everybody prefers open source software. Uh, nowadays, recently that's been changing. And so open source software gives you control to the entire ecosystem. You have the ecosystem that caters to the privacy concerns. So people are more and more uh, try, more and more uh, interested in exploring uh, that avenue. So, uh, but uh, we already have something like Microsoft Media. We have seen uh, the desktop, the graphical desktops already running on the RISC-V hardware. So what we are Presenting here is not the desktop distribution, which is Debian and Fedora, uh, which is a complete uh, desktop uh, version which you run on your Linux laptop or Linux box. But this is focusing on a mobile distribution, which is known as Plasma Mobile, which is based on the KDE, which actually, in fact, runs on physical uh, Nexus 5 ARM devices. And we are trying to build uh, this one with the Yocto distribution and uh, we are testing it with the QMU and virtual GPUs and displays. So this is all uh, we are doing in the software simulation for now. So this is a, uh, give you a brief overview how each layer is uh, structured. So does it work? No, and yes. So the bottom layer is, as you know, the, the risc board which is being simulated in QMU. And then on top of that, obviously, Linux runs it. And then we, had, we have tried three different uh, desktop environments, which is Matchbox, which is a simple terminal-based desktop. Then we have XFC, which is a lightweight desktop. And um, Ubuntu has an, uh, Debian and Ubuntu has like actual running XFC desktop. And then obviously we have KDE on top of which Plasma Mobile runs. So this is how Plasma Mobile what looks like. It's an, but the grow, it's a actively growing community of developers that are working on the KD desktop environment and being ported onto a mobile. It's, as I said, it's already running on the Nexus 5. It gives, com, gives you completely a software ecosystem for mobile devices. It's run on top of Qt5, and the base uh, graphical stack is uh, KDE Plasma. And uh, we basically uh, simulate with the QMU, which is an open source uh, emulator and uh, hypervisor. It's not cycle accurate as Spike, but it's uh, functionally accurate. So uh, we have x86, uh, let's say the emula QMU emulator runs on the x86, uh, which is the host, and uh, uh, risk 5 is the guest. So the tiny code generator component uh, in QMU basically translates uh, the RISC-V instruction to the x86 and basically it runs on the host. And we also have, uh, QMU also have support for PCIe and virtual GPUs, displays and input device, which makes us a compelling case for actually building and uh, porting on graphical desktop uh, using QMU. And Yocto is a uh, distribution open uh, Linux foundation back based project that allows uh, to develop uh, Linux distributions. Specifically, it's targeted towards embedded devices. It allows developers to create their own distributions or, or their SDK. And uh, you can uh, basically, it enables you to cross compile everything uh, in the to the Linux kernel itself. It's very, uh, it's a tiered architecture. So to add your own component, it's uh, very easy and uh, uh, extensible. So it can be done pretty quickly. So it's a, uh, 
brief overview of Yocto architecture. So we have BitPick, which is similar to the Make. On top of that, we have op Open Embedded Core. Open Embedded is basically the operating system use that uses the Yocto. And uh, Open Embedded, on top of Open Embedded, you have Meta Layer, which is some kind of abstraction layer that abstract that enables all extensibility, possible extensions on top of it. So let's say you need hardware for uh, or risk 5 ISA. So that's where uh, Meta Risk 5 comes into picture. You need a uh, graphical. Uh, that's where Meta Qt 5 comes into picture. And that's even further extensible to uh, KDE framework and uh, the KDE libraries. Next is the QMU model. So first, we uh, QMU models has the CPU, uh, basically risk 5 a risk 5 CPU. Then it has the, all the interrupt controllers, other risk 5 devices, something like local interrupt controller or anything else. Uh, that uh, risk 5 hardware requires that's being simulated. Then we uh, then it has a Xilinx PCI root complex, which is again simulated, and on top of it, it enables the standard uh, display with VGA and uh, the USB host. So, so to build a full uh, graphical stack in Yocto, what all uh, do we need? First, we need a uh, Meta Risk Five, so that it's a Risk Five uh, mobile desktop. So, obviously, we need Risk Five to run. Then we need uh, the Meta Qt Five which adds all the Qt5 packages that are required for Plasma. Then there is KDE Framework and KDE Layer, which includes Plasma Mobile and the framework packages that are required for KDE. So uh, since, uh, even though we have all these uh, components already in QMU, it doesn't work out of the box. So we need to make changes. We need to make either code changes, configure changes to make it actually work for S5. So we made changes to the uh, RISC-V Meta, Mute KT5, KD, uh, KD Framework, and the KD Layer to uh, actually make it work. And then uh, we are trying to upstream them so that anybody, any of you or anybody out there in the world actually can use a RISC-V based uh, software simulated uh, mobile desktop. So any work, anything that doesn't have demo or that doesn't have pictures is basically, I consider it as a fake news. So I don't want to give you fake news. I want to give you the uh, actual images that actually run. So as I said, this is a uh, Matchbox terminal demo, which is a simple uh, terminal-based simulation. And you, it's a graphical desktop with a, just a terminal, nothing else. The next demo that, is, uh, that we have is a XFEC desktop. So this is the exact desktop if you go and install XFEC desktop Ubuntu, you'll find the exact same desktop. So it, you can also it run for the risk five, then uh, this is where we got stuck. So we're still working on it. Uh, the Plasma Mobile, you can see the boot logs. Uh, you can see here the boot logs. It's uh, starting uh, the KDE runtime, and then a star KDE is being starting up. But we just, um, we're stuck with uh, some graphical uh, segmentation fault, which I'm trying to debug. I was hoping we could get it working before today, but unfortunately, still working on it, so we have a blank screen, but we at least, in principle, we know uh, we are working on the, the KD boot, so the, there's nothing wrong with the KD framework, it's just the graphical stack that's pink, uh, that's crashing. So we're trying to fix that. Another issue, all of this desktop, we're still trying to figure out the input. So it, uh, the Linux can see the USB devices, but it's not able to get the USB inputs from it. So, I'm uh, sorry, uh, keyboard and uh, mouse inputs from it. So we can see the mouse cursor, but you can move it. So still, as I said, it's a work in progress. So we are trying to fix those issues actively so that we'll have the entire desktop running. Next, uh, we are trying to upstream this work. Like first, since we have uh, already enabled uh, all these KD, all these frameworks for the Risk Five, so we are trying to upstream those. Uh, at, at the same time, we're trying to look at the graphical issue and keyboard mouse support that's required. And once we're done with it, probably uh, we'll like to go and put it and test it on a real hardware. So hopefully next time we'll have better videos actually running on the Plasma Mobile. And can you try it? Uh, can I try it home? Uh, not really yet. If you are trying to contribute or if you are actually looking into these issues, we'd be happy to talk to what you are trying, uh, what we have, the issues, what you, if you can help, that would be great. So if you want to go and uh, 
tried out our, at your home and look at the issues that are uh, we are also investigating, uh, please contact Alistair or if you, can, you can talk to me. I'm here for the two days, so you can talk to me as well. So I think that's all I have. Any questions? Uh, as I said earlier, anything that uh, if you want to compete in the real hardware, if you co want to compete in the, it's a general purpose comp computing, we try to experiment with, uh, it's the same reason why we have Debian or Fedora. So we want to have a mobile distribution so that, let's say tomorrow you want to have an open source mobile from up layer, from the graphical stack, from the touch interface, all the way to the hardware, everything is open source. You can truly call your phone as an open source. So this is just a first baby step that is taken towards achieving that. If we have it in the simulation, then we, if we can have it in the hardware, maybe somebody actually put it in and try to sell it or, I don't know, college project. <laughs> <laughs>